Okay, we are testing the ATEM television studio. And so, me, so let me explain a little bit of my setup here. Um, right now you're looking at the key of our set with the green screen. Um, and so keyed onto the green screen we have the Mac Mini. Um, so you see the Mac interface in the background. Um, and in front of that is the, is the set. Um, and it's it's not the greatest key, but it, it's usable for this demonstration. We can get lights on it and, and get a better key as we go along. So right now that is uh, the main camera, and that's camera 6. And camera 2 is actually the Mac Mini input. And so we've got these keyed together. Um, I've got camera 5 previewed. And so I'm going to cut to camera 5. And so we just have a straight on shot. That is a picture of camera six from camera five looking towards the bullpen. Um, what I'm going to do next is turn off the key and just bring back our um, bring back our Mac screen. And this is where we can play and audio should come through as well. This we can bring in uh, YouTube videos or Skype hangout uh, WebRTC conversations and that sort of thing. So that's that's something that will that's the last part of our test. So hopefully with this we've got audio working. We have some of the setup. So let me just go through the different um, and I'm going to quickly just live cut to these. So camera one, actually this is <coughs> you can see a picture of my hand. Um, this is the GoPro camera that I have set up to camera one. So this is just a little mini high GoPro camera. Hi hi. Um, this is just the GoPro camera with a wide angle shot of, of kind of what's going on. Camera two is the Mac Mini. There's nothing on camera three. There's nothing on camera four. Camera five is, again, shooting into the bullpen looking at camera six. And then camera six view is actually the set with the green screen. Um, we also have media. So here's the... Uh, this is what's called Media Player 1. So this is a, just a picture of the ATEM camera converter. And then we have Media 2, which is the ATEM 1ME broadcast panel. Hopefully we'll have something like this in the Convergence Center or maybe even the big panel, who knows. Um, then if I put on the key and do a cut, that brings in... All right, let me... Uh, do this. All right, so now we've got our our key up there with an actual image behind there. So this is the basic setup. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, we do also have standard color bars that we can put behind. Black if we want to um, unkey this stuff, we can do that. So here's color bars by themselves, black by itself. And there's the key in front of it. So let's switch back to our media. Let's go to the switcher. I like the switcher picture better. Um, so that's it. Um, we're going to stop this recording. Um, one of the way that we get the multiple cameras, we've actually got um, two Canon Vixia HV40s, but they're HDMI cameras. But we've got, um, and let me switch to camera one real quick, and I'll take the GoPro camera around. So what we've got are the HV40s right here, but then there is a HDMI. Actually, let's take this key off. So we can go back in, we can look at, sorry, I'm getting used to this, that's why it takes so long to switch. So we've got this HDMI to SDI mini converter. So the HDMI comes out of the Canon HV40, 
and then goes out SDI to the switcher. Um, same thing for the other um, HV40 right next to it. So we've got two of these HDMI mini converters and we're just using those to take HDMI out of the cameras and then switching to SDI into the uh, mixer. H uh, SDI is much easier, much more reliable uh, to work with as opposed to the kind of dodgy connections that you get with HDMI into the switcher. So, um, so that's how those are going. As far as the... I'll just set this down here for, for right now. And I'll switch to another camera. Actually, no, let's bring this, let's bring the GoPro a little bit further. Um, I can't really see it right now, and I can't go too much further with the GoPro, but um, we've got a mixer with two uh, SM50, Shure SM58 microphones, and we are just pumping those into a small Mackie uh, four channel mixer. So, two XLRs, and that's these two uh, Shure SM58s are going into the XLR ports. And then the audio coming out of that goes into um, one of the um, HV40s, and we just contr we take the audio out of that and use it as the main audio for all of our cameras. Um, we can also mix in the audio from uh, our Mac. So let me just switch to the Mac real quick. And um, if we brought in any, again, YouTube video or uh, other audio coming from the computer, we could bring that in and uh, mix it in as well. So that is the kind of the basic setup. And all of this stuff goes into this switcher, and that again is the ATEM Television Studio. So you can have up to four HDMI or four SDI connections, and you can, you can mix those. So you can have four SDI and then I think one or two HDMI, and then vice versa. Um, so it's a really kind of setup that's getting to the point where we can have multiple cameras and multiple inputs. Um, no more firewire that we'll have to deal with, um, and we can uh, we can make some recordings that will have multiple inputs and all that kind of jazz. So um, pretty exciting, at least to me it is. Um, so that's our setup, um, and if you haven't seen what the switcher interface looks like, that's, that's basically it. Um, and you can see our, our audio, and we're getting a little long in the tooth here for our uh, description, so I'll, I'll stop it here and, and say goodbye.